every technology, every stack, every language has its Achilles heel. There's no question about it. So you have to decide when you're making your technology choices, how you weight things. So weight as in how heavy, what's more important, what's less important. So in the node camp, the big problem is the package management, the array, the collection of packages out there and the way that they are interconnected and dependent on each other. The dependency tree in node is extremely, extremely problematic. All right. So we're going to do a different style in this video where I'm going to take you outside into the wilds of downtown Montreal and Westmount and I'm going to discuss this whole node issue. Hey guys, how you doing? So this is going to be an interesting video. JavaScript node and NPM, the big mess. So let's just jump into it. So by most measures, JS is the most popular language in the world. So that's nothing you can dispute there it is whether you like it or not that's just the way it is probably because javascript well not probably js is the most popular language in the world not because it's necessarily the best language and it's, i wouldn't argue that it's because it is the only game in town when it comes to uh front end web development really if you want to have functionality in the front end you have to do in JavaScript. But as I said earlier, the problem with the JavaScript world, specifically Node, and to a certain extent React, is the, uh, the packages. Uh, the packages in that whole ecosystem is a big mess. You have problems you have to contend with in that world. Uh, in the Node world, it's so bad that the founder of Node has left Node because he thought it was just not something that could be resolved. So by the way, if you're wondering about this weird video, I'm shooting this on a camera called the Insta360 X3. It's a 360 video camera, so it shoots at all angles. It's pretty cool, and uh, it allows you just to get a different shot. I'm using it because uh, it's different. I figure I'd give you a little walk around Westmount Park in Montreal, Quebec. And so, you know, Makes it a little bit more entertaining. So why is Node brittle? Well, it's because of the packages, uh, which is served up by NPM, which is Node Package Manager. And it's not because of NPM itself that we have the problems. The problem is because there are so many packages and they're so dependent on so many other packages. And, they're, and I think the huge issue is that they're these packages are built and created by many, many different entities. So that leads to very brittle code and you never know when something's gonna blow up. This is literally an example of too many cooks in the kitchen, right? Too many cooks in the kitchen, it gets to be a big mess in there and nothing gets done. So let me give you an example. Let's say you have your application, as is typical in a node implementation, you're leveraging a bunch of different packages. And somewhere, one of the packages, the uh, people decide that they have to do a critical update due to security, or maybe some bug fixes, or maybe they're adding a new feature. So they update it, and then uh, you update it on your end. And then what that does though, it breaks other packages that you have in your code base that depend on that first package. So your new package, that uh, has fixed a critical bug, fi uh, bug issue or a critical uh, security issue, it now is breaking some other package which breaks your application, so on and so forth. You can see the problem there, not good. Just so you understand, you don't see the sort of fragility in the Python world, in the PHP world, in the Java world, in the C Sharp world. This is something really, really specific to the Node world. So keep that in mind. So why did Node become so popular in the first place? Well, just in case you don't know, Node is a server-side implementation of JavaScript. Basically, they ported the JavaScript engine, which has lived forever in the web browser, uh, so that it could be run on a server. So the first reason they did it is because they wanted to take advantage of, well, Node was very good with concurrency, meaning if you were building chat apps, or any type of application where you had 
a lot of concurrent connections happening at the same time, Node was really, really good at that, very fast. And I think as a flagship example, Netflix was using Node for that very reason. Now, let me dispel that myth. Number one, very few applications need this super hyper concurrency. That's super rare. Number two, uh, the other languages out there have responded these days. I'm recording this in 2023. And so they uh, can do some pretty good concurrency as well. So keep that in mind. The other reason why Node became so popular is based on this idea that it is better to write your software in one language. People were attracted to the idea that you could write your front end code in JavaScript, which is the only game in town for front end. And then you could write your back end code in JavaScript, which to some people's minds was advantageous. Again, another illusion because if you know anything about programming, you have any experience, once you understand any of the modern languages, to learn another one is just trivial. It really is. So the least of your concerns is the programming language you use when it comes to development, right? It's actually about the, the world, the environment around the language. That's really makes sense. That's what really has the big impact. So there you go. Node. Node is a big mess. It's still widely used, still popular. Um, it's not going away anytime soon, that's for sure. I don't think it will ever go away. But don't expect it to replace the Java, the C Sharp, the PHP, the Python, Django, or Flask. It's not going to. It's not good enough to replace these things. And um, there you have it. So if you are a startup founder, and you're looking at a stack to develop in, I would think twice about leveraging Node because of the package management, because of that brittleness, brittleness. Really look deeply into what your functionality requirements are and whether Node actually brings a significant value. It may not, it may, depending. So years ago, when I was developing my current SaaS, Studio Web, I looked at it and I thought the advantages that Node uh, brought were not, did not outweigh all the disadvantages, mainly its brittleness. So keep that in mind. This is all from the perspective of a developer who's been working on code since the early 90s. 1994 is when I wrote my very first professional code. That said, I don't know everything. I don't know everything. So if you have any disputes with my characterizations of anything I discuss in this particular video, please feel free to comment in the, uh, well, in the comments below.